You guys seem to be so much enjoying this. This is great, and why not? This is beautiful here. What What do you think is the best thing about this this theme park, this celebration? I think it's that uh, the fans get to have like a real close up uh, feel for Harry Potter. Like we're here, we have the Hogwarts, Hogwarts and everything. It's just so cool. All the shops they get to go in and uh, enjoy like the experience. You know, go into all the vendors. They uh, get their wands and. It's just really, really cool. I got my wand yesterday. Wh wh which wand is it? It's I'm not too sure. Like, the wand chose me. I didn't oh, choose oh, yeah. the wand, you know. <laughs> uh, I tried two or three. Uh, one or two of them might have blown up. You never know. But, uh, yeah, it was really cool. So, obviously, we are celebrating sort of an end, yet another end for, for Potter. Um, you know, we feel the Potter series is going to live on. But, but what do you guys think? And, and sort of going back, looking back, what are your top moments, favorite memories? Working on that, I know there was there must be so many. So difficult, you know, that is yeah. such a difficult question. Um, in terms of it living on, I mean, I think undeniably, you know, it's brilliant. And I think we sort of realise that every time we go to a premiere, you know, to see so many people who are, who mean so much to them, you know, it's amazing meeting people for whom Harry Potter has been such a big part of their life, like us, you know, because it has it's been ten years of our life that we could, that we would I would never throw away, you know, I would never replace it for anything because it was so wonderful. Um, and I think it gives a sort of it creates a sort of camaraderie between these people. You know, you have something in common in this fantastic world. Um, so, I mean, of course, it's going to live on because the stories are wonderful. I mean, they're beautiful. And, and, well, exactly. I mean, they can't not. I've yeah. That about that. Um, in terms of a favourite moment, God, that's really. You know, that is so hard just because. Just because to boil down 10 or 11 years into one moment almost seems wrong. I just sort of. I'm, uh, I'm I'll, I'll edit the question then. No. Favorite moment. Moment inside the film, watching the film. Favorite moment on film of the oh, late of the latest cool. film, Deathly Hallows Part Two. How about that? Um, I'd say I'd say it's it's the courtyard scene yeah. and specifically Neville's speech. Nice. I think it's so good. I mean, I you know it's 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 brilliant because Neville is a character who you've been you know, laughing. You know, you grow you love him of course because he's he's such a good character. But I mean, he's slightly a laughable figure, and you sort of write him off. And that's one of the things I think from the minute you know he's lost his toad at the beginning, you think, oh well, okay, Neville. Well, let's not expect too much for him. And it's the great sort of vindication. It's the great that the everyman becomes the hero. I think that's the most spectacular thing. Yeah, so I, I, I love that moment. So I'm sure you guys gave him a pat on the back after that. Oh, after that's yeah. 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 I mean, he was fantastic. He was so he was amazing. Good. So it was, yeah, I was really also you know on another sort of level, I was just so delighted for Matt because he'd obviously done such a good job with it. So to see it came he, out. He's worked so did. hard over the last ten years and like we all had, but he done like such an amazing job on it. So Yeah, so it was it was it was so you know, gratifying to see to see how well that came out. Yeah. Well I'm really happy to see you guys here and thank you again for answering your questions. No, it's very great much. to meet you nice both. To meet you. Thanks, Take everybody. Care. Take care.